Hi Automation Community and welcome back to our video series about the Coatsys visualization. In this second part I want to give you an overview of the project we will be working with and afterwards show you the basic steps to set up your own visualization project to get everyone on a level playing field. So let's get right into it. This is the project you already know from the first part of this series and now we want to quickly explain all the important objects we have in the project tree here on the left. On the top we have the alarm configuration containing different alarm classes, an alarm group and storage object and a text list for the alarm group. In the code folder are all the functions, function blocks and programs that provide the visualization with example data. The folder also contains the menu function block which controls the navigation of the visual. Next we have the external files folder which contains data like videos and PDFs which are automatically passed to the PLC and can be displayed with the browser element. In the image pool fo folder we have a collection of pictures. This element helps us to manage all the images we want to use in our visualization. The pages folder contains mainly all the different visualization slides of our project including the main pages subfolder with the primary pages that can be accessed over the main menu which we find in the subfolder here. Next we have the text lists which help us to display text elements in different languages. The global variable list or GVLs also provide the visualization with the necessary data. The GVL Visu contains a definition that helps to administrate data independently of the client. The library manager, program code and task configuration do the same thing as they do in your standard courses project, so there's nothing special here in regard of the visualization. The trend recording manager helps with the logging of trend recordings, which then can be displayed with the trend element. The visualization manager contains global settings for the Visu, um, like the clients that are supposed to be used, which um, is the web Visu in this example here. The last element in the tree is just called visualization. Um, this object is the starting point of our Visu, which leads to all the other pages that we saw earlier. So now we know about all the important elements of our project and in the second part of the video I want to show you how to set up a rudimentary project with basic objects from scratch. So here we see an empty standard Coatsys project with an added visualization. The Visual needs some data to work with, so we will add two variables in the code, a boolean and an integer. And since we want to see some movement later on, we will incrementally increase our integer variable and add a modulo operation. As a next step, we will include an alarm configuration with alarm classes to which we will add an alarm group. In the error alarm class we will now activate the archiving of the alarm. And now we want to define an alarm in the alarm group so we will add a digital alarm and bind a variable with a boolean condition to it. As class we choose error and then we add a basic descriptive message. With that done, we can now switch to the visualization and integrate an alarm table. With this dialog here, we can add further elements so we can acknowledge alarms later on. As a next step, we want to include a trend in our Visu. In order to do that, we will switch to the special controls tab and add the corresponding element. In the dialog, we add the variables we want to show, which is the integer we created earlier. Now the element appears here in our visualization and then we can use the new snap line functionality to align everything with each other. We can also add additional pre-configured control elements with this dialog here. With that done, we can add a folder for external files in the project tree in which we include a video and a HTML page. We will also have to set a target path for the files so the runtime on the device can find them. In this case the write path is PLC logic 
slash Visu, which we will just copy to the other file as well. To display the video later on, we switch to our program code and add a new string variable for the corresponding file we just added. Now we can switch to the visualization again, add the web browser element from the special controls tab and configure the URL. We also have to change this boolean here, so the element is actually shown later on. We also want to include images in our visualization. And in order to do that, we will add an image pool and choose the file we want to display. SVG files work quite well in these circumstances, since they can be easily changed, uh, easily scaled. We can now go back to the visualization again and add the file with the image element. We will now also add an element to trigger the alarm, maybe a switch or button for example, and tie the corresponding variable to the element. We also want to include language switcher for our project and in order to do that, we have to add a text list object. Here we can add different IDs for different texts and add additional languages. In case the chosen language isn't available, Codesys will automatically switch to the default text. Now back to the visualization where we add um, an element, for example a rect rectangular object which we will use to display um, text. Here we go to the dynamic text sub dialog and choose the text list an ID we want to display. And since we want to actually um, switch the language, we will add another object with a German declaration where we set the input configuration accordingly. And now the same procedure again with an element for the English language. With that done, we can already generate the code and log onto our device. Codesys will automatically create the necessary tasks for the visualization, alarm management and trend recording. We can now open the target or web visualization. So let's switch to our browser. Here we can see the visa we just created with trend recording, where we can move the graph and zoom in and out. The alarm management, where we can acknowledge selected alarms the video and image we included, and the language switcher. Well, and that's already it for, the, for this part of our Visu series. We hope that this establishes a good basis upon which we can dive deeper into individual features and improvements of the visualization in the upcoming videos. In the next one, Martin will give you a more detailed overview of frames in the visualization. See you, bye.